So looking at 4.1.21, I went ahead and derived the uh, arithmetic sum formula. So we just are looking here. A1, A1, A1 is the center all the way to AN, and then A, A plus B, A plus CB, this is CB, etc. And so we start at A, and then the difference is Z. Some, so we just we just call this x and here so when we add them all together and then we flip them around so now this one right here we're going to put over here and then we add them downwards so we are adding a plus this one and then we're adding these new ones together so we're going to get 2sn total so sn plus sn 2sn uh, when we do that, we notice we get the same thing every time. We get a 2a plus n minus 1, 2a plus n minus 1, 2a plus n minus 1, etc. So there's n of those, right? Because if you look here, we see that we have n of them, n, um, n elements in the sequence. So here, we're just looking at this n here, uh, this n, n of those, n amount of 2a plus n minus 1b. And then here's just the simplification part. What I wanted to do is take out an a n, the, the last term in the sequence, which is right here, a plus n minus 1b. And so I went ahead and did that by splitting apart this 2a into a and then a. So here again, we get Okay, so then that turns into an a n. Divide both sides by 2 because remember we have 2 s n and we get the formula. Okay, so right there we can read that formula and from now on we just do these problems. So uh, here's, remember that's a1 and then this is a n. First thing I need to do is I need to find out how many elements in the sequence. So I just use this formula. It's probably not the fastest way of doing it, but I can't think of a better way of doing it right now, so now what's going to have to be. Uh, this is a n, and we know that's a n, and we also know that this is a n, so we send these to each other. And then uh, we know a is the first element in the sequence, which is 1, and then b is the common difference, which is, we just add two other terms, right? So then uh, we just solve for n, and we get 499. Okay, so then we know the sum is going to, we just plug in, we have the sum formula, we use it from here, we use, we finish here, this is the n, well, that's n equals n over 2, a1 plus a n. Okay, so then here is a n, and now that's not 1, a1 is 1, n is 499, and then we just solve. So the sum is 247,999. Uh, so I just tried out. I said, well, what's that divided by 2? Uh, sorry, that what is this divided by 1,002? And what I got was something 0.5. So I need to, do I need to take out 501 or a half of 1,002? And uh, I found out I need to take half. So I went ahead and did that. So I knew that this would end up being a factor of 1001. So uh, this ends up being 0 under modulo 1002. So we find out this is equivalent to 501 in, uh, in Z 1002. So answer is 501.